I'm here at the PPAI Leadership Conference, and I'm gonna interview here Danny Rosen. This guy's amazing, got the ASI uh, Humanitarian Award. Hey, come on down here, here Danny, let, let, let's talk. And, oh, but hold it, I, I see Glenn Hirsch from Admin. This, this guy actually, Glenn is like better than I am at this, so I'm gonna hand it on over, because, and Glenn, rising star, right? PPAI rising yes. star? Rising Woo! star, everybody. All right, well, hey, Glenn, I'm just gonna hand it over to you and you can talk to Danny about whatever you want. Perfect. Hey, Danny, how are you today? Great, Glenn. Well, you. you know what? Danny and I are coming live here from PPAI's NALC conference in Chicago. And I just wanted to ask Danny uh, how he thought things were going and uh, any information he has about the conference so far. Yeah, it's been good. There's uh, a lot of high level talk. I'll, I'll tell you, there was uh, some conversation from our friend uh, Larry at Access Promotions was uh, talking about how to help suppliers get them to be a little more invested with distributors so that they could reach them and, and hopefully open up more business opportunities. And, and uh, I think what he was trying to say was that, um, and it really resonated for me, was that suppliers should invest in the training of their people, their outside sales reps. And you know this very well because you guys do that. Sure. You're the best uh, of, of the best. And, and what was interesting to me about it was, um, I thought about where did the where would the money come from from for that, and I would ask you the question. You know, how would you? Is it just like a risk taking scenario? Where where can you find dollars to invest to train your people that are all over the country trying to sell your product line? Well, I think since it's a, a true partnership, I think if the distributors would give us back a percentage of the rebate dollars that we pay out, that would be a great way to take some of those funds and reinvest them into our people. All right, so I've got one. All right, so so touche. Uh, I would say that if, if the suppliers would clean up their CRMs and stop sending catalogs to people who don't work for me for the last 10 years and stop sending us boxes and boxes of catalogs, we might take a few, but just ask us. And this then, reminds me of Point Counterpoint from the old Saturday Night Live days, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's it.